Okay, today we're going to talk about dilations in uh, two-dimensional figures. We're going to do two things with it. We're going to um, first create a dilation using a scale factor, okay? And we'll get into that in a few minutes, okay? But the idea of a dilation is this idea here, right? If you had this, uh, if you had this original triangle here, right, and you multiply it, by a scale factor, we're going to call that R here, of 2, what you're saying, you first have to define this point. This is the point of dilation, okay? So this is the point of dilation. And what you're saying, when you multiply it by a scale factor of 2, you're saying that if each point was a distance away from O, now each point is going to be twice as far. So if, if B was this far from O, now it's twice as far. If C was this far, now it's twice as far. If A was this far, now it's twice as far. Right? Why is it twice as far? Because of R, the scale factor. Okay? So you've been dealing with these ideas. If you're an artist, I know you've seen these before, right? If you pick this point off into the distance, you have this 2D figure, right? And you create a vanishing point. I don't know if you've done vanishing points before, but if you haven't, uh, you probably will if you ever get into art. Right? You have this vanishing point off here. That vanishing point is similar to our point of dilation. And if you create a, di a, a vanishing point, you can actually create the shape off into a distance, right? Uh, ooh, where is it? That's like this, right? So there's a vanishing point, right? This, this is a way of making something look farther away by using a vanishing point, all right? So it's the same idea, right? So what are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to use the scale factor. Let's go to number one first. How about that, right? We're going to use a scale factor of two, and we're going to take line AB and make it twice as long. Okay, so here's the idea. First thing you do is you connect the vanishing point to the endpoints of that line, or if it's a shape, you know, to the endpoint of the shape. Let me uh, take this keyboard off. All right, and then uh, connect it here. Wowzers! All right. So we got this line like this. All right. And so all you're going to do is, if you measured this distance from S to A, right, you're just going to make it twice as long, right? because the scale factor is 2, so it's twice as long. So if it was a distance of that, you can just kind of eyeball it. You can use a piece of paper, measure it, and just make it twice as long. So if it was that long, it's about that long, right? So this is going to be called A prime, and this is going to be called B prime, right? And then all you do is connect it. Real simple. Just connect it. And once you connect it, that's the new line, and you'll notice whatever, however long AB was, it's now twice as long. All right. So use a ruler to draw the image of the figure under the dilation with the center S and a scale factor indicated. So that's it. That's all you're doing. Okay. All right. So let's do number two. So what are you going to do first? Well, you're going to connect it to each of those points, right? Okay, so this time the scale factor is one half. That means they're half as big, right? So R prime is going to be about right there. And you can measure this for real, right? Uh, let's see, S prime is probably somewhere around there. And that one's somewhere around right here, right? That's T prime. And if I connect those, right? Watch if I connect those. I will get the same shape again, only it will be smaller by a scale factor. And in actuality, um, if the scale factor, this area, well, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to get into that right now because there's a whole other concept I could talk about. But you'll notice, right, each side is half as big as it was because we followed the scale factor. That's all you're doing. It's pretty easy, actually. All right, so let's do this next one. have no idea why that line is there. I think I'm going to use it in a minute. But here's all you're going to do. So take point, point ST and extend it, right? Take point SC, extend it, right? 
and then all you want to do now is make them twice as long. So if they were this long, if st was this long, then you want to make it three times as long, right? So if sc was that big, so it's three times as long, somewhere around there, right? No idea what this line is. I'm going to ignore it, okay? Unless it's like a typo of some sort. So loosely, that is going to be... Oh, I didn't mention... I didn't... Yeah, point s is there, so we're good. All right. So this is t prime, and this is c prime, right? All right, that's it. So here's s this time. So this one's kind of more difficult, right? We're going to, what are we doing? A scale factor of 2 thirds. OK, so I'm going to connect the dots. Now, when the scale factor is less than 1, the shape is going to get smaller, right? All right, so here's what I do. I take whatever ms was, and I make it 2 thirds as big. So I'm going to break it up into three pieces, and I'm going to take 2. So that's going to be m prime. I'm going to break it up into three pieces, and I'm going to take 2. So that's going to be p prime. I'm going to break it up into three pieces, and I'm going to take 2. That's going to be r prime. I'm going to break it up into three pieces, and I'm going to take 2. So that's going to be v prime. And then I'm going to break this up into three pieces, and I'm going to take 2, and that's going to be w prime. Now, if I'm careful with this, right, if you do this carefully on your paper, you should get the same shape again, right, only it'll be a smaller version of it. And you can see it there, right? Uh, let's see. Let me, let me change the color here so you can see it, right? So now you have this shape right here. And that is that new shape, that M, um, MPR uh, VW prime is... A dilation of that shape by two thirds. That's it. Okay. So the next part, uh, don't do the notes yet. Don't even copy this. Just kind of watch. So if I take a shape, right, and it's right here, and I double the lengths of the sides, right? So I'm going to do that same thing here. Let me get a smaller pen. So I'm going to take the sides and I'm going to double them. And I'm going to dilate them through origin, okay? What I'm about to show you only works if you go through origin, all right? So keep that in mind. So I'm going to dilate it through origin, right? And I'm going to double the sides, right? So basically here, right? Ish, I think. And then, uh, let's see, probably about here, I think, all right? That's a new point for this. Let's call this A, B, C, and D, okay? Don't copy this, just watch. A prime, that'll be B, that'll be B prime, right? And let's see, that'll be like uh, out here somewhere, I think, right? That'll be about twice as long. And twice as long is somewhere around here. I guess somewhere around here, right? And so you get this new shape, right? Right here, see it? All right. What I want you to see is, let's look at this point, right? Uh, let's take A, actually, A. Let's look at that point. What was a, where was A originally at? And like Once again, we're not copying this, we're just watching, right? A was originally at 1, 2. Now let's see where A is now. It's at, A prime is at 2, 4, right? Okay, so let's look at B. B was at what? 1, 1. Now B prime is at 2, 2. So all you have to do is ask yourself a question is, what's happening here, right? What's happening to the points? The scale factor, um, I use a scale factor of 2, right? I use a scale factor of 2. What's happening to the points? Well, each point's just doubling. Oh, well, that's cool. That's the rule, right? That's what we're saying. That's what this is saying right here. It's saying, if you dilate a shape through the origin, and if you know the scale factor r, you just multiply r times the points. So if you knew that this point, right, point c, was at 3, 1, you double it. Now it's at 6, 2. And if you look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, that's where, that's where the new point is. So it's really easy, right? So we're not going to dilate the whole shape. We're just going to do two points because it just gets kind of annoying, OK? So we're just going to do two points. So let's graph EF, uh, negative 2, negative 2. That's point E, right? And then point F is negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
it's there, right? That's f. So if the scale factor is 0.5, then negative 2 comma negative 2 is going to be multiplied by 0.5, right? Each one's going to be multiplied by 0.5. And 0.5 times negative 2 is negative 1. And 0.2 times 0.5 is negative 1, right? So now uh, it's going to be at, that's going to be e prime, right? And if the original point was at negative 2, 4, right? If f was at negative 2, 4, then f prime is going to be at, multiply it by a half, it'll be at negative 1, 2. So negative 1, 2, so that will be where f prime is. And so if my original line was here, my new line is here, right? So dilating on a coordinate plane given a scale factor is real easy. You just multiply the points by the scale factor. Okay, so let's try it again. If the points were at, let's do A and B. So the point was at negative 2, negative 2, and the point was at negative 1, 2. So that's A and that's B, all right? Multiply the points by 2. So this will be at negative 4, negative 4, and this will be at negative 2, 4, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be the new A prime, and then negative 2, so 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, so this will be B prime right here. So my new shape is like this, right? If my old AB was here, my new AB is going to be here. That's it. It's easy. All right, so let's try one more. I'm going to graph, uh, let's just do the 3, 3, and the 6, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so that's B prime, right? or that's B, sorry, not B prime. Right? And then let's do 6, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. So that's C. We're just, let's, I, I tell you what, in, for this problem, let's just do all three. So then the original, and then let's do point A. So we're not going to do D. All right? So there's my original triangle, right? So let me graph that original triangle. Looks something like this, right? Right? Something like that. Okay, then what are we going to do? We're going to multiply the scale factor by one-third. So each each point is going to be multiplied by one-third. So A becomes, A prime is going to become, that's real easy. You multiply it by one-third, it's still zero, zero. So A prime is still the same point. Oh, I put primes here, didn't I? They were not supposed to be primes. A, B, C, right? Where's B prime going to be? It's going to be at one, one, because one-third of three and one-third of three. Where's C prime going to be? Two, one. So let's graph those points. 0, 0. So if I was to graph that new point, it's right there. That's A prime also. So A is also A prime. B is 1, 1. So that's B prime, right? That is not B prime. That is not 1, 1. Here's B prime. B prime. And C prime would be at 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. That's C prime. So there's my new shape right there. Yeah? That's it. Pretty easy stuff. Not going to be hard at all. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to do the ex last example. Uh, go ahead and uh, work on these. Uh, I'm here to help you. So if you need help, send me an email and, or leave a post on my YouTube channel. And I'll be more than happy to help you out with this. All right. Good luck.